allowed to take a lot of items with them. They were given about 20 minutes to vacate their, their homes and then everything that they couldn't take with was also destroyed. For the women it was very bad to see precious items of theirs being destroyed. It's very well known that there was white concentration camps, but only recently it has come to light that there were also black concentration camps and also mixed concentration camps of white and black women. There were about 65 black concentration camps and they were usually found near the railways, which meant cheap labour for the British government. Also, the women and children who were in the black concentration camps had very difficult circumstances to overcome. They weren't given any shelter, they weren't given any medical care, they were given very, very bad rations and it was also very difficult for them because a lot of the time the British would tell, especially the men, you had a choice. Either you fight on the side of the British and we will look after your family or if you don't then they'll have to look after themselves and because of that a humanitarian disaster happened where about 24,000 black women and children died in these camps. We are not completely sure of, of all the numbers because the records weren't kept very well, but the ones that we could find is already about 24,000 women and children.